blows anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. So, what do you think our chances of getting to Yamantau alive are? It's the only thing on my father's mind. How to earn his forgiveness, get back to Metro and his old life, the life you had always been running from. And to think, I never believed you. And now I'm looking at this fog, thinking it could actually be hiding our new life from us. By the way, we should be approaching the bridge soon. Damn it! A campfire! People! There are people there! Hit the bridge! Four bogies on a trolley! Artyom, you should probably get to the bridge! Are you alright, Artyom? Yeah. They pierced the cylinder! How bad is it? Can we move? No, we're stuck! Ah, oh, shit! Damn frog! Seems we ran through someone's roadblock. Who was it? Any uniforms? None. They were wearing rags. Just some old farts. Old farts, huh? That's just the perimeter guard. They could have put anyone there, even women and children. Do you really think we found them, Colonel? Well, we can't be sure. I was expecting to run into them much earlier. The trolley is headed towards the bridge. Some fortifications there. This looks peaceful. A village and a church on the water. We need intel. Here, Artyom. I put a mark on your map. Get there and find out what you can about that breach. Taking a prisoner would be ideal. Anna, you cover him. Yes, sir. Yeah, I go with our team too. As backup. No. Until we figure out our situation, you are not to take a step away from the Aurora. These two can handle themselves just fine. Yermak, where Let's can go, you get Artyom. the Aurora running again? I don't know yet. I'm gonna check on that cylinder, but a full day at least. I see. Get to it, then! Spartans, let's prepare the Aurora for a defensive action. Artyom, don't forget your backpack. It's a new model. A portable workshop, so to speak. The manual is inside. It doesn't come with crafting materials, though, so keep an eye out for those. Let's move out, Artyom. Just be careful out there. Sure thing. Well, I gotta say, all. that was one flimsy roadblock. And those guys, well, they didn't look like army men at all. Just old men. Be careful out there. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. Got it? Do you hear that bell? We must have given them a good scare. Maybe they served the enemy. Enslaved or something. Going down. Haha, <laughs> that was great. Hey, what was that? Could you check it out?
I took a look around while you were inside. That electric tower there looks like a perfect sniping position. Let's go. A boat. You won't have to go swimming after all. The locals probably get around mainly by boat. Okay, Artyom, I'll climb up there while you take the boat to the church. I'll call you when I'm settled. Salantius has already started his sermon. Just enter the temple and see the light of truth. We are a peaceful life. here either. Silantius locked us up here a year ago. Yes, the bridge dwellers won't even talk to heretics. But I'll tell you everything I've seen in this place all that year. Oh, it's the bridge guard. Silantius fooled them just like the locals. But unlike them, the bridge guard have guns. Run! There's a way out down here and there's a boat at the dock. We also have one, but it's too small for all of us. Artyom, she's right. Get to the boat. We will rescue her later. Don't worry. Go! Nothing. I can get to the train by ourselves. Mommy, mommy. Where is that heretic? He came by boat. 
during his sermon. And then what? Well, he, he was picked there and then he kind of disappeared. And just like Father Silentius said, the man is like a devil. Yeah, I know. I know what Father is saying. Tell me if you saw where he went. Well, he just kind of vanished. Here, I'm sure I can feel his godless presence. There's ninja cars nearby. He's here, the heretic! to meet the woman and child. I know you can handle this just fine. Well, it's not going to help you. What's going on? Oh, I don't feel right. Oh my god. Hey, I give up, so don't you shoot! Thank <laughs> you. 
That's it, I, I give up! Don't sweat! Shame you couldn't get away quietly, without bloodshed. They're bound to hate us even more now. Oh well. Artyom, Katya, and Nastya are with me now. See you. Aboard the Aurora. Check the map. Looks like you can row straight to it from there. What the fuck was that? A whale? It's fucking huge!
The old man sent me out as a forward sentry, told me that I was to sit tight and under no circumstances look for any action. So I just had a front row seat watching you there. And holy shit, you did not disappoint. Anna has already reported on the cult. How about we trade places? I'd hate to come back to Moscow without even firing once. I was trying to win a girl over from one trader. Tough luck there. Why does everybody else get fun missions? The colonel does criticize you and all, but he gives you all the best action. Is this his way of showing affection or trying to get you killed? But I have to say it's unfair. I've been dragged out of Moscow and for what? Stalking the furnace and sitting in a bog with a dumb spyglass. Here though we do have a chance of finding some loot. There is this plane there. Just leave something for me. I'll have to stay longer, I suspect. The shrimps are giving me trouble, though. I wish I could somehow talk to that catfish into chomping all those water bugs. How did Mowgli talk to the animals, I wonder? Speaking of Mowgli, we have the same blood type, you and I. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Well, I guess you have to go now, Artyom. I feel your father-in-law training his binoculars on us to turn us into pillars of salt.
Here's our team back from the abyss of You're NATO alive. occupation. Thank you for the information, Katya. But there is one more question I need to ask. But of course. 